I'm back. Another video, man. Sorry it took so long. It's been like a couple weeks, bro. I've just been busy. But y'all wanna hear that shit. Y'all trying to hear me talk sports. So today I'll be talking about the NBA. It's an NBA video. Western Eastern Conference overview. You know, this is like pre All Star break, after All Star break. So yeah. And I'll be talking about the NBA award winners, the Russell Westbrook trade, and another topic I'll save for later at the end. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, I'll do the war winners first. I would say MVP, I'm good at to Jason Tatum. I mean, he's been averaging, the motherfucker averaging 30 points per game. And he's the best player. I, isn't, isn't the best player on the best team? That's what he's doing right now, bro. Like, I feel like if him or Giannis has the best record at the end of the year, it should be the MVP. It's just that simple, bro. Don't don't get an MVP to somebody who's like, you know what I'm saying, bro. Like it just, bro, it, it, it be the award starts to lose its meaning because they go off stuff that's like analytics and a bunch of other stuff that just don't matter to the game. We get basketball for real. Uh, rookie of the year is Paolo. Uh, I think he clears this award easily. I was gonna say Benedict Matherin has a little, you know, edge he can get there to Paolo, but nah, he he. He's different. I seen him close out uh, the Pelicans the other day. He was hitting straight pull up, uh, hezzy jump shots in Brandon Ingram face. Man, Nick couldn't guard his ass. It's Paolo. Defensive Player of the Year and uh, not MB, uh, Bam Adebayo. He he he's one of the best defenders in the league, bro. People don't give him his credit. Like he guards every position for that team, bro. And he's only like what six nine. So like he be fighting. He's athletic, tall, he jump through all that, bro. I feel like I need to give him more props because he's not averaging like 27 and just doing crazy shit like that. That it's like, you know, people don't really look at that. And Miami stinks this year, so it's like nobody really cares. But he's like one of the bright spots, bro. He, he matters a lot to that team. So I got him winning DPOY. Six man of the year, Malcolm Brogdon. That motherfucker just consistent, bro. Like, when he's healthy, he's out there and he's playing, bro. Like, he's playing. You can feel his energy, his impact. He got a handle. He can shoot it. He's athletic. He's strong. He can defend. Like that's a great dude to have on your team, especially in the playoffs. Like he plays winning basketball. Uh, coach of the year. See, I was kind of teetering because I w I wanted to be Mike Brown because like look what he's fucking done. So I think he's gonna win it. Like you know. But Taylor Jenkins, he's one dude I would say I would give it to him as well because. The Memphis Grizzlies are the number two seed like every year now, bro. And they don't have the best players, man. And a lot of them be injured sometimes. And they even say they're better without their best player. Like, that's crazy. That, that has to do with coaching, bro. And development of players. So I would say he would be like my sleeper, I would say. If Mike Brown didn't win it, I would want Taylor Jenkins to win it. Because of that reason solely. So, yeah. But Mike Brown, he just brought a team to the playoffs. They ain't been there in 20 years, bro. He's getting that shit easy. It was that super max on bro. Uh, let me talk about the Westbrook trade first. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, Westbrook is a Clipper, and since he's been a Clipper, they're 0 and 4, 0 and 4, 0 and 5. They fucking suck, bro. So that shit is that shit is bad, bro. Like wherever he goes, it's like he's a cancer now, bro. It's just sad to see a player of his magnitude just become this like he can't shoot he can't defend he can't do a lot of things bro like his game is just like he would just dribble for like no reason just so he can get close to the paint and then just drive and throw some shit or shoot a midi and break an air ball like he can't shoot he can't do a lot of things in the court that requires a uh, NBA guard to do he, he's just bad man I don't know why they picked him up they should have got Mike Conley. That was the perfect piece right there. A point guard that can shoot. You have to respect this shot. He can pass. He wants to pass. He wants to get Kawhi the ball, get PG the ball. And he doesn't have that aura of, like, destruction that Westbrook has. Wherever he goes, it's, like, bad. It would have been a, a more seamless transition. It would be easier. And the spotlight wouldn't have been on them so much now that it is because they have Westbrook. I don't know. I wrote down, I said this could either work or be really bad, and so far it's been really bad. It could get better. It could start pulling off wins, get to the playoffs, just win. We've seen that, man, you know. Uh, 
it, it, we've all, we've seen that like team just go on runs in the playoffs. But I, I I don't see that happening, bro. PG is like really bad. Like he, he's not playing ball for real at all. Kawhi is good, but he just don't look. His legs don't look all the way there, bro. He just don't look all the way there. But he's still a good player. He's still top one of the top guys in the league. He's just not. It just don't look that good, bro. Keep it on it. That's just how I feel about the Westbrook trade. And now we're doing the West and the Eastern Conference overviews. Uh, I'll start with the East because that shit don't really matter, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing going on over there, bro. It's just... So you got the top three teams. The Bucks, Celtics, Sixers. Uh, Bucks. They just got to stay healthy and just be clicking at the right time, which they are. Same with the Celtics. That's all I really... Like them, them two, they they the top of the league, honestly, bro. Sixers is right underneath them because <clears throat> they're good. I feel like they gotta have Harden. Like Harden gotta go out there and average 27, and then they gotta get Maxi going. And they, if that happens, I feel like they'll start clicking at the right time. And you never know, anything can happen in the playoffs. The Cavs, <clears throat> they could be a first round exit. But I don't see that happening. There'll be a second round exit for sure. They'll, they'll have a gritty first round win uh, against the Knicks because the Knicks is the fifth seed if it was to start today. And second round, they'll probably lose if they play like Philly, Celtics, or the Bucks, some team like that. They'll probably lose that because they're still a young team. And, you know, you you also don't want to, like, speed up your trajectory because, like, if they made it to the conference finals, that would be kind of fucked up because they're not even that good of a team yet. So, like, you know, they skip steps and it's like, okay, now, now they think they're better than they actually are, which they're not. They need wings, they need shooters, you know, dudes to surround them in two guards. So, yeah, Knicks, I feel like they'll be a first round exit. I don't see them making it to the second round, honestly. I feel like they're a first round exit. If they make it to the second round, then they're definitely a second round exit. But I feel like they're a first round exit. Same with the Nets, first round, Heat, first round, Hawks, first round. Them, them boys not getting out the first round. At all, yeah, those are first round exits. <clears throat> if they're in the offs, this playing is ass. Nobody would give a fuck about that shit, man. Got the Raptors, Wizards, like man. We going to the West, man. This is what people want to see: Nuggets, the Grizzlies, the Kings, the surprising Kings. Who would have thought, man? The Kings. <clears throat> They've been a laughing stock my whole life, bro. During the playoffs, now this is crazy. Yeah. But the Nuggets, uh, I'm not really sold on them like everybody else is, bro. Like, maybe this is just how the season is for every team in the West. Like, I don't, I don't see them winning. I can't envision them winning the championship. Like, I don't see it, bro. I don't see it. Like, they have to show me. Yeah, but they're a good team, top seed. They're gonna end with the number one seed. Nobody's catching them unless they just start losing, like a losing streak. And yeah, that's just it about the Nuggets. The Grizzlies, I feel like they're going to the conference final this year. Like this is their year. But I could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to the conference finals. I, I see it this year. I feel like it's going to be them and Phoenix or, to be honest, I don't know. But the, I feel like I got the Grizzlies going to the conference finals this year. That's who I got. <clears throat> they're a really tough team, man. I, I, I like the way they play. People sleep on them and try to troll them and all that. But they just keep winning, bro. They're just good. I don't know what people want to say, bro. The Kings, see, they're a mystery team because they're young and they're new. So, we don't really know what they can do. <clears throat> but, I feel like they're just going to be a tough, gritty team that can make it to the second round because they're just hitting shots. And, you know, they're, they're going to be a tough team to play, bro. Like, that arena gets loud, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be their first time in the playoffs in, like, forever. So, you know, the fans are going to be really uh, excited about it and come and show out. So, yeah, that's what I feel about the Kings. The Suns, you know, this is this is like the Don Dada of the NBA right now. Everybody's saying they're going to the finals. Da, 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 da. Mm. And they're a good team, but I don't, they don't fear, I don't fear them. Like, if I was a, if I was a good team in the, in the East or the West, I would not fear the Suns, bro. Like, you're talking about Kevin Durant, that's cool, but, like, he's not, like, like, Okay, remember when LeBron was the top dude in the league, right? 
it was like LeBron and everybody else. Kevin Durant is good, but it's not Kevin Durant and everybody else, bro. It's Kevin Durant and it's Giannis next to him or Giannis better than him. It's Steph there next to him or a Steph better than him. He's not this uh, the equalizer where it's like, oh, but they have KD. Nah, man. KD can go to a series and play Giannis and it's like, Go out there and hoop, bro. We gonna have, we gonna see who win. It's not no KD is better or Giannis is better. These players nowadays, like a lot of the a lot of the top players, they're not like so much better than the other top player that it's like okay they have him so they're gonna win. Nah, and D book is great, but like people like trying to like overhype how great he is. He's a good player, man. And the rest of the team is just meh. Like who's gonna guard like Jason Tatum in a playoff series? Like be for real. Tory Craig, cool. Who gonna guard JB? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a lot. Like, the Celtics is like their worst nightmare if they play it in the finals. That'd be their worst nightmare. Same with the Clippers. The Clippers match up well with them. It's just not that they sign Russ. It's kind of fucked up. Like, it, it won't, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the Suns, I don't see them going to the championship. I think they'll lose in the second round or the conference finals. If they do get to the finals, they're not winning it, though. If they play Boston, they're not winning it. If they play... Milwaukee, they might win because, like, how Milwaukee's defensive scheme is, but Milwaukee's a better team than them, though. Yeah. On to the Warriors. I feel like they just got to get healthy, bro. Like, once they get healthy, I feel like they can start clicking, and, like, shit will be better for them. Like, the Steph is coming back Sunday, obviously, against, I guess, my Lakers, obviously. Oh, damn. But, like, with the Warriors, they just got to, they just got to stay healthy, and, Players gotta actually just like form into their roles. You can see it now. Players are like learning. Yeah, I fit this role. This is my role, and I have to play this role to the best of my ability. Now you can see Kaminga coming into his own. Fool is to play. Clay been hooping. I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker been getting buckets lately, and they are peaking at the right time, getting healthy at the right time. They're the fifth seed. So, oh, fifth seed is the Suns versus Warriors. I mean, uh, that matchup is the is in, in the playoffs. Fourth seed versus fifth seed. We need that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That'd be fire, man. NBA needs that. Yeah. That'd be a great series, man. I ain't gonna lie. But, shit, any, it could change any moment now. The West is crazy. It's like like one game behind somebody. Next team with Mavericks. Uh, I mean, the Mavericks, they could either be really good or really bad. Uh, Luka, he's like, I ain't gonna lie, you he can't he can't play with another co-star, bro. He just can't. Like, he he's not a he is a ball hog. Like he, he's a passer, but he's a ball hog, bro. Like everything has to go through him. Like that's not how you win. Kobe even said it like that play style is not conducive to winning, bro. Where it's like, okay, pick and roll, I'm pounding the ball. I'm a I'ma do the pick and roll. You have to roll hard. And like when I pass this person the ball, they have to shoot. Like he don't do nothing where it's like he, he pass it early. He doesn't play off ball at all. Like, he just stands there. And, like, that's it, bro. And he takes, like, step back three, tough shots. Like, he can make those shots, but I don't know. His, his play style is just not conducive to winning right now. And it's a, it's, the play style isn't conducive for others either. Like, he needs to get the ball out of his hands more. That's just how I feel. The Clippers... Uh, I was kind of high on them until they signed Russ. Now I'm like, mm, their own force since they signed him, bro. That fit is obviously not there. Like, it just don't fit. And then I'm hearing Ty Lue doesn't know what he's doing now as a coach. And it's kind of sad, like, because, you know, I, I like Ty Lue. But it's tough. Like, they're just not a good team, bro. And, and I tweeted this the other day. I said, like, it's crazy how, like, the Clippers are ass, bro. Like, they're not good. <laughs> they're not good. They're 33 and 32. <laughs> <laughs> Their ass, like these dudes. Do you know how many picks they traded for Kawhi? I mean, for uh, for uh, PG Shea and PG trade, bro. Like, bro, Shea is better than Paul George right now, bro. Like that trade is a is a travesty. Now look at that shit. It's tough. Like that's tough. If they don't win this year, they gotta blow it up. If they don't win a championship, if they don't get to the finals, they gotta blow it up, bro. I mean, it's over. Like that shit is done. It's over. Clean house. Timberwolves, uh, I feel like they're going to start dropping soon anyway. If they lose today, they're going to drop. They're going to drop. But, yeah, they're going to start dropping soon because 
they're not that good. They're not that good. I feel like Cat is injured. Like his injury is like worse than they're saying. Ant is like kind of backpacking. I like watching it because he's a young star. You know, seeing a young star just with his team to win now, it's tough. It's fun to watch. And Jaden McDaniels is a very good player. He's athletic. He's tall. He's a good wing. You know, you can never have enough wings in the NBA. I, I like Jaden McDaniels. He's a player I would put on my team any day. And in the 9, 10, 11 seed, I say 11 because the Lakers are the 11 seed. You know, we got to speak about my Lakers. Uh, I feel like we can get in, man. We just got to go on a win streak. Like, people are always saying, you know, other teams have to lose for y'all to go up. Man, we just got to win. Like, if we win, that's that's going to take care of business. If we don't lose a game till the playoffs start, we will be in the playoff. It doesn't matter what other teams do because we know teams are going to lose. If we take care of our business when it comes to winning games, we're going to be in the playoffs. So that's just what I want, man. I need Le- And then the LeBron injury really set us back because we were clicking, man. You could see it too. And then D-Lo was going to come back. Injuries suck, man. But, hey, you can't, you can't frown, man. Next man up. That's all that matters. Next man up. And I hope we do win today. We got to keep winning so we can hurdle the, the Pelicans. But that pick we have, the pick that they have, that's ours, doesn't matter anymore. That would be beautiful to see. And finally, on this Jokic situation, man, I feel like the NBA is starting to get too much into the, you know, analytics because they tell me why he's the mvp he did a poll before all-star weekend he had 77 first place votes like why the fuck is he the mvp look at his numbers and compare him to Giannis and, and jason tatum and they have better records than him like what the fuck they just like, like the reasoning they, they give for him being the mvp is so well, it's so dumb man like like <laughs> they'll tell you look look at the numbers he averages on on the, the analytical rating and da, da 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 like bro what the fuck does that mean bro shut up like the criteria has always been best player best team or if you're averaging a triple double or averaging 50 points per game and your team is the fourth seed then they look at you like MVP too cause like you're doing some crazy shit we ain't never seen before but come on now 77 first place votes it's, it's pretty obvious what the NBA is doing here man that shit is nasty Adam Silver, do something about it, man. This is nasty. Uh, like it's it's bad, bro. Tatum is behind him beating Giannis on that list, bro. <laughs> Averaging 30 with the best record in the league. 30. Like, come on, bro. It's like it's it's crazy, bro. But hey, man. That's hopefully hopefully that gets fixed, man. Hopefully they don't rob uh, Giannis or Tatum of an MVP MVP because that that award. Excuse me, that award is going to start losing its its value if it's just like, okay, we're just going to give it to the dude who got the best an- analytical stuff or is the media favorite. It's bullshit. That shit is dumb. It's ass, man. And, and, and it's going to ruin the game. It's going to make the awards feel like it doesn't mean nothing. And that's just, that's just not good, bro. But yeah, uh, I digress, man. You know, that's just what I felt. You know, my two cents on that whole Jokic MVP situation. You know, we went through the Clippers. New signing with Westbrook. You know, just a little NBA talk, man. I know y'all miss my voice. It's been a little minute. Appreciate y'all for liking my videos and watching them. Keep sharing them. I'm going to upload some vids on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Open it on the Instagram. For all the Instagram, for all the TikTok. Like it up. Share it. Share the video. Like the video. Uh, And I'm out. See y'all.